Hello there, and welcome to another weekly live uh, where we're talking about, um, this week we're talking about a scholarship topic, and I'm super excited. This is actually our third Crowdcast live, um, expanding from just the podcast to a live platform. So this will be shared on the podcast as well as this live platform. But I wanted, again, to do the live platform to allow you, the viewer, user, listener, to engage a little bit more with the content. And I'm super excited about today's guest. And before I jump in, though, I do want to share a few housekeeping items. So number one, in the upper corner, um, up right about here, it says follow. That way you will be notified. If you click that, it will um, allow you to follow our channel and it will allow you to um, be notified of when we go live or when we have events. I mean, I want to double check that. Um, that you guys are able to see it here. Um, so that's the one thing. And then the other thing, um, if you have a question, make sure you're not putting it in the chat bar because that's going to scroll up. So it's really important that you type your question below where it says ask a question. You'll just simply click on ask a question to ask your question. And I'm going to do questions at the end because I may answer your question or your question may get answered sometime during this live. It, it won't take long. I like to call these shark bites kind of in and out. So depending upon where you are, if you're on the East Coast where I am, it's lunchtime. Our guest is joining us today in a different time zone. So it's um, early morning there, mid morning, early morning. So um, so, you know, just want to get great information out to you in a Aaron Peterson. He is the CEO of Achieve Today. And let me just go ahead and do this. So, Aaron, what's going to happen is I will um, invite you on the screen and you just simply click yes and then you'll get invited up on this screen. Awesome. This is how so excited awesome. the technology works. <laughs> You know, you always, your that, oh, always that moment before where you're a little bit nervous and it works and everybody's excited. Yes. <laughs> and it's a new platform. So it's, you know, so I'm like holding my breath, holding my breath and everything. So, wow. Thank you so much. I'm super excited about this session to um, dive into more about your organization, about yeah. the scholarship and um, just any information that you have to help students who yeah. will be applying, you know, hopefully the listeners and beyond, because we share this a lot. I mean, the podcast reaches technically worldwide, but, um, uh -huh. you know, uh, the bulk of our listeners and viewers are in the U.S. So, okay. yeah. Perfect. So, yeah. So we're just going to jump right in. <laughs> How are you doing there? What time is it there? It's you know, it is 11 a.m. essentially. OK, so you're just two hours behind me. OK, yeah. OK, cool. Awesome. So if you could just tell us a little bit about who you are, your background and about your organization, we'll start there. You bet. So um, my name is Aaron Peterson, obviously, and I've, I've been in uh, the education space for the last 19 years. Um, and I started a chief today five years ago. And the type of education that I've been a part of has been a customized approach where we do one-on-one -on -one coaching and the type of coaching we would do uh, went across a lot of different areas from uh, you know wealth building from real estate investing investing in the stock market starting an online business personal financial management to personal development self-improvement mm -hmm. and five years ago i started a chief day with a focus to stay in that customized education space but I wanted to focus in that personal development high performance space just because when I saw people get trained and educated in that area, it seemed to help every other part of their life. I mean, those people that wanted to increase wealth or start another business, if they had the, the right mindset, if they were working on themselves internally um, and increasing their performances, we saw just greater results with those individuals than people that just focus strictly on building a business. So I love that space and it's something that I really gravitated towards. And so that's where we're at, we're at now. Achieve Today, we still provide customized education and we do it through one-on-one -on -one coaching and through a customized platform 
that has some artificial intelligence built into it um, to help people customize their educational experience. One is, you know, a, a more expensive program and one is a very low cost program, but still we didn't want to lose that feeling of a customized educational experience. So both the, from one end of the spectrum to the other still provide a customized feel to the end user. And we do that to consumers and we've started to now offer the same type of training into businesses and organizations just because they're starting to realize that as you work, help your employees um, with their mindset, with their performance, uh, you know, personal and professional development skills, you see just greater results within the workforce, higher engagement, less absenteeism, just a lot of things improve overall in an organization. That is so true. Mindset is everything. Absolutely. I, I tell the students, my students all the time, you know, it's the six inches between your ears. It's like everything. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I love this. Love this. And I think the earlier you get it. Now, do you just work with adults or do you have programs for youth? Like who do you oh, serve? You know, awesome question. So typically our audience has been a little bit older demographic, right? From anywhere from 30, 30, 35 to 55. And but we have outliers on both ends of the spectrum. However, we, we had a, a fantastic person approaches about a year and a half ago and said, hey, I, I do leadership development for teens. Mm. Um, and I love what you guys do. And I, I'd like to work with you guys to create something. And so we've created a program we call Teen Track. Mm. That right now is in um, junior highs. And it's it, it's uh, catered for the, the that teenage around you know, 12, 13, 14, early teens. Mm -hmm. But it deals with some of the same things that we um, work with adults on, but mm -hmm. just tailor to that age group. And we're seeing amazing results. I mean, awesome. and, and it was a fun, fun venture to do, and it's still ongoing, but teens really seem to grasp, I mean, at all ages, right from 13 to 19. And the, the sooner you can learn these principles of changing a limiting or fixed mindset to an empowering or abundant mindset, everything starts to shift in your life. And so it's been fun to see teens go through our program, our teen track program and provide us testimonials just saying how it's really helped them in their life and in, in all areas. Um, because this just one of those things, that's the age where you really start to either maybe accept a limiting belief about yourself, or you can understand how to confront that, uh, you know, challenge and move beyond it and become yeah. better because of it. That's awesome. Now, is it offered through schools? You know, it is. oh, okay. That's so, great. yeah, we do it through schools. We okay. did. We do have a parenting coaching program. Okay. And even what we do through the schools, Pam, we have a parent track, so that because obviously, when the teachers, we actually certify the health teachers. Actually, teach it, teach it during a week of health class. Okay. But when that's done, it's the education doesn't stop. So we provide a parent track, so the parents can continue to work with the teens on those principles. Uh, you know, self-worth, conflict resolution, uh, mindset, overcoming anxiety and depression, those things that are challenges for, for teens. Absolutely. That's great. That's great. It's funny. I didn't know you did all of that. You yeah. know, when I reached out to you it was for the scholarship, but it's like, yeah. this is such a great, like, beginning of a, you know, of the entire episode. Thank you. So, yeah, that's really good. Because to me, what it speaks to really a lot of why you would offer a scholarship, you know, kind yeah. of, yeah, it's, it, it's very much in line with your mission. Um, yeah. yeah. And, and it's, it's, it's great. So, yeah. yeah. So let's jump right into the scholarship. If you could yeah. talk about the Achieve Today scholarship yeah. that you offer, I know it's coming up soon, August. Yes. Well, there are two of them. So August 31st yeah. and then December I, there's a December date as well. So you offer yep. it twice, which I love. I love that, by the way. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we kind of encourage, you know, students at each, whether they, some might be starting right at August and some still have to pay tuition, you know, come January. So we offer uh, the scholarship during those two times when the one semester is ending and the other one's beginning. But our scholarship is, it's kind of fun. We started it right when I started at Chief today. We're obviously big proponents of education. And um, one thing that we feel is a, a very powerful principle is the law of attraction, mm -hmm. right? And we, we know, we've we been able to expand upon that with our students and dive into really specific details about it and really about limiting beliefs, right? And how to overcome those. But with the law of attraction, 
it works like any other law, right? As you put it to use, you're going to see good things happen from it. But it starts with a mindset and a belief that you can have things, certain things in your life. Obviously, you've got to work towards those. It's not just going to happen if you just say, hey, I want this. But everything starts to, we say the universe conspires to make that happen once you put it out there and you start working towards it. And it's just like any other muscle. It's a daily habit that takes place that as you get more and more familiar with doing the right things in your mind, it becomes easier and easier to do those as time goes on. So what we ask students to do is share with us what the law of attraction is, how they've seen it in their life, whether it's with them or somebody personally to them, maybe using it or how they would use it in their life. And as we ask them to do that, we receive submissions from written submissions to video submissions. And we'll look at those. We kind of have a, a scholarship um, board, about three individuals that will look through all, all those and pick out probably the top three or four that they like. And then we take it just a step further, really review those. And we'll look at which one we felt really embodied the mission of the scholarship, which is, um, you know, understanding and explaining and utilizing the law of attraction in their life. And then we'll award the scholarship to that individual. OK, that's great. Now, do you have a preference over? I know you can submit either a written essay or a video. Is there a preference? You know what? Really, we've seen most of the scholarships winner, probably a very high percentage, 90 percent have come because of a video submission. I was gonna say video. Yeah. I always tell my students, I tell them all the time, this is one of my secret sauce tips. When yes. you're in the video up, because you can come, which is why I love like podcasting, because yeah. I'm talking, and video, because I'm, right. There's nothing like seeing it, expressing it, than just exactly. reading it. So. Well, and you can see it in their faces, in their expression, the way they use themselves. I mean, I, I remember once, I can't remember her exact name, but it was a few years ago, and you could tell she was a little bit timid at first, you know, but as she started getting into it and she started talking about the law of attraction, what it meant to her, what she had learned about that principle, she started to really come alive. You could see the emotions and excitement and energy just come through the video and it really captured all of our attention. Wow. And, yeah. and it, it was, it was just neat to see that, but you're exactly right. I mean, if you have the opportunity to submit a video, especially with today's day and age right. technology, <laughs> you might as well take advantage of it. I'm going to do at minimum, just do this, you know, <laughs> Exactly. It, you have no it, excuses. <laughs> it doesn't have to be a professional video. Right. I'm mean, just a video that captures your uh, like energy, excitement, uh, your belief. I mean, all that's done. That's hard to determine that through just a written mm -hmm. essay compared to seeing somebody live doing something. Yeah, that's great. That's great. So when you look at some of the submissions um, uh -huh. and you're going through them, are you are you doing more of a deductive process where you're taking away? So you're you're finding reasons why this one is not or is it more of a kind of are you finding that you're taking away more? You know, it's you you're kind of saying, OK, because I know some processes are very stringent yeah. in terms of punctuation and, you know, yeah. not really following the guidelines. If they go over the word count, if they go over the yeah. minute count, are you automatically cut? I mean, mm -hmm. where, where do you kind of, you know, and, and yeah. no, no, great question. You're exactly right. And, and so we're, we're probably a little bit more, um, we don't look at maybe the letter of the law. Mm -hmm. We look at kind of the spirit of the law where we see, um, if they've caught our attention, okay. if we can tell that they understand it, tell that they've put some thought, because that's the most thing. If somebody's going to put effort into it um, and, and time, you can, you can tell that through, you know, reading the first part of the essay or watching the video. So that's really what determines which ones might stay, which ones might be um, set aside initially um, is by just that whole process of seeing if they fully understand or not fully understand, but they put time, yeah. energy and effort into understanding it. And you can tell those that do and those that don't, there's an authenticity that really comes out. And also we love seeing vulnerability, right? Mm -hmm. If people are vulnerable in it and it doesn't have to be a, a happily ever after story, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it could be something that was challenging that they overcame and that or that they're still overcoming. I mean, that's all okay. It doesn't have to be, like I said, we don't pick the one that says, man, this one has the most perfect situation, perfect life. It could be somebody who is dealing and struggling because we all deal and struggle with things and knowing that we have a challenge and that we're working to overcome that and become a better person because of it. Because that's really goes to the essence of our, our, our program and what we feel about the law of attraction. It isn't, um, 
you know, there's nothing, uh, we don't consider something as a failure. Right. We look at every stumbling block, every challenge is a learning opportunity. Mm -hmm. um, and every learning opportunity is something to help you become better. Because even though you might deal with something personally, that doesn't define you. What defines you is being able to work, work at overcoming it, right? Mm -hmm. The strength you get, the person you become by, by overcoming challenges and putting your best foot forward and really trying to attract good things in your life and abundance through just happiness and energy and empowering beliefs. That's really what comes forth in the video. And you can tell through somebody's vulnerability and authenticity um, when you watch that video. So that's where we start to separate the ones that might not be a good candidate or the ones yeah. that might be better. And there's times where we've got so many good ones. It's been really, really hard. Yeah. Just you know, which one do we pick? And it comes down to, um, at that point, just what, 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 what the, the <laughs> exactly the gut. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes you got to trust your gut. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. So how long is your process? So video or essay submissions will come in no later than August 31st. Yeah. Like when will a student put, put a student here back? And do you notify those who don't win or do you just notify the winners? And then what's the notification? Is it an email? Is it on your website? Like what does that look like? Great question. So we don't notify anybody. We only notify the winner. Okay. And we put it up on our website. We actually do a, a, a blog post. Mm -hmm. We put it on social media and then we email them to let them know. And it's usually within uh, two weeks from submission. Okay. That's great too. If you're going to school in the fall, I reached yeah. out to all my seniors. I said, you all apply and get on this video and watch the replay. If you can't, if you're working, yeah. <laughs> because you know, you may need money for books or, yeah. you know, just those extra fees, things that you hadn't thought about. Yeah. So yeah. And one other thing I was going to mention is, and once we notify them, we, we ask the student, we love to hear from them when they realize that they've won mm -hmm. and how it's going to help them and benefit them because everybody, you know, everybody loves a success story yeah. and even those that might not have been selected for the scholarship. I, I would hope that it, gives them hope to continue to push forward. I hope that by doing the video, by putting some time and energy into learning a principle that can help you in other areas of your life has been beneficial for them. And so it's fun to see the response from the winner, but we also hope that the ones who maybe didn't receive the scholarship could you know, try again another time. There's no uh, limit to submissions or it's just benefited them in life where they've been able to see maybe life through a different lens. Yeah, that's great. So let me ask you this. What what would be some of your best advice or a top tip that you would give to a student who is applying for your scholarship? You know, I, I would advise them to put a little time to understand the principle, what the law of attraction is, okay. right? First and foremost, just having a good understanding of it. And then once they understand it, being able to articulate it, and then being able to maybe share some ways that they've tried to put it forth in their life or have seen it work in other people's lives. If they incorporate those three things, having a good understanding, being able to explain it, mm -hmm. and then being able to find a, a situation that would work to, to attract that, uh, attract that or um, use that principle in their life is something that I think is going to bode well for them. Awesome. That was like worth the interview. <laughs> That's a great tip. <laughs> That's awesome. Wow. So uh, we're going to wrap it up. Um, hey. Yeah, because I, I so appreciate you taking time. Oh, anytime. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to make sure. Yep, I asked all my questions. So um, I have one final question. It's a fun question. I always oh. ask this question because, yeah. you know, the whole college admissions and scholarship process can be overwhelming and somewhat stressful. Yeah. So I thought, you know, I, I like students to know that the people on the other side reading your application for school or for essays, they're like real people. Yeah. So I asked this fun question, and that is, if you could be any mascot, a high school mascot, a college mascot, what would you be and why? Oh, that is a great question. Um, well, my, my home mascot growing up was a bobcat. Okay. They weren't necessarily real fierce. I guess they can be pretty, they can be, be rough. And uh, one of my college mascots, uh, I went to, I went to a junior college then to another college after that, but uh, was a, a Viking. And so I've always, I've kind of been partial to a Viking. I mean, my heritage comes from uh, Sweden uh -huh. and I just had the opportunity to be there last week. And so it, that's the first thing that came to mind is a, a Viking. It just seems uh, for, the, for the good, good portion of being a Viking, right? There was some, not so good. I think any history of people probably has some good, good and bad. But the Vikings, for um, their desire to explore and 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 find new places, um, 
And anyway, that that's something that uh, so I'd probably be a Viking. And they I just only picture you with the hat for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah plus their 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 wardrobe was pretty neat that's another thing that we like so yes <laughs> that's great let me see i don't have any questions um those of you who are joining us do you have any questions if you have a question click on the ask a question link below and i will ask the question or answer your question if you have any question that we did not get to answer or not we Peter, uh, Aaron, I'm sorry, Aaron did not get yeah. the answer. Um, go ahead and ask. And um, while you're thinking about that, possibly typing, a couple things I want to say. Um, I have a podcast episode. I'm going to post this in the links after I log out. So it'll, it'll I have to just go copy the link and drop it in. Um, but I did an episode on creating a video essay. So you'll have that to listen to. Um, and I have an example of a student who actually won Oh boy, she's a she's a class of 2017 and she won some whatever. And so I have a sample of her essay. And what I love about that, she actually did in her bedroom. Her brother did the filming and she put lights like behind her. It was really cute. So, but the content was great. So it was like done well and then the content. So I had that. And then also I'm going to provide the link to um, the Achieve Today Scholarship in their website as well. So you'll see that in the link. And we don't have any questions. I guess you just did such an awesome job, well, Aaron. <laughs> They're absolutely and I, you know, great job, Pam. You're doing an thank awesome you. thing. So oh, thank you. off to you. And um, we love what you're doing. We'll, uh, we, I need to talk to our team. We want to maybe do a blog post about what you're doing okay. and see if we get more people that, absolutely. because we, have, we only have a community that obviously that uh, are maybe looking at school or have children that might be going to school. So this is really a neat thing that you're doing. Well, we as you were talking, I was going to contact you offline or Chelsea, yeah. like the whole mindset stuff. Like I've got like crazy ideas to hear. Like, <laughs> like I've got some great, I'm like, mm, I'm going to reach out to Mr. Peterson about this and this and that. So, yeah. Yeah. so well, feel free. Anytime, I, I mean, like I said, we, we try to practice what we preach within our organization and um, we just love synergistic connections. So feel free to reach out anytime, Pam. And oh, it's yeah. been an absolute pleasure to meet you. And I love your energy and your Thank smile. You. And your Thank, you. <laughs> Thank you. So I love podcasting because I kind of can look any old kind of way and whatnot. And if you, know, you can stop it, if the dog barks, the doorbell. So live makes me a little bit nervous. You know, I have to put some makeup on and like, you know, fix my oh, hair. No. Down, a haircut. Oh, thank you. You're so kind. <laughs> so thank you. This was great. I will be getting this information out for students to apply. And, and what I love about, I tell students all the time about applying for scholarships. When you ask those deep reflective questions, there are very few times yeah. in our lives when we have to answer those questions. And this is one of them. So to think about like these principles and to think, yeah. oh, you know, how can I apply it in my life? And, you know, just it, it's such a great process. I tell them, you know, whether you win the money or not, you're going right. to grow as a person. Like you're you come exactly out right. a winner, right? Exactly. So, right. Yeah. So thank you so much, Mr. Peterson. This was thank great. You, All right. Have, have a good, good one. You too. Bye-bye. Thank you.